How's it going there everyone? It's Drew the Nostalgia Main here. We're going to be starting a brand new Let's Play series for Banjo-Kazooie. This is my all-time favorite video game. I'm very excited to have a chance to play it and not only are we going to play the game, but I'm going to be attempting to voice every single character that, that we come across in this game. Now, it really, um, not every single character has an obvious voice, but some of them will kind of be made up and there may be some voices that if they maybe don't turn up well during the initial recording, I may re-record so that they come across better in the video. But this is something I've wanted to do for quite some time, actually, and I'm very excited we'll be able to play this game again here. I've been a fan of this game for quite a long time. I've played it all the way back in 1998, and I think it was in Sears that I saw the game, and I was just very intrigued by the characters and the world, and I rented it from my local grocery store a couple of times, and I was just completely hooked on the game. It is just a game that has held up so well to this to this day, and I'm actually playing it on the original N64 hardware. I mean, um, we do have some advantages with the Xbox, but I don't currently have an Xbox, and N64 works just fine for me. And this is such a fun intro, I've always loved it. Alright then, now I had uh, previously done a recording for um, the introduction scene, uh, but I wanted to go ahead and just give another go, just do a, one, a fresh one for this playthrough, and we'll get this game started. Grunty any day, she really takes my breath away. <laughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. May look stand me out from the crowd. Er, uh, but there's this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Well, we'll see about that. I don't do the best uh, grunty cackle. I mean, that that title belongs to um, Chris Sierra, of course, but I do my best. Ah, uh, hi there, Judy. What are you going to do today? When my big little brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks, and ugly she'll be! Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mo? I can't see him! Up there! In the sky! I don't think so! Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty! You'll soon be ugly! What a pity! Let me go, you ugly old hag! Scratch and bite, my little bear! You'll soon need bigger underwear! Oh no! She's caught her! Somebody! Help! Banjo! Wake up! Now! Uh, what do you want, 
Missouri. Let's get outside! There's trouble! Listen up! I'm Bottles, a short-sighted mole! I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie! Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo! Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy! What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped out of sky and grabbed her! Calm down, Kiki. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous. She'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves. Or press B if you think you're already good enough. You bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain! Hmm, very well. I'll give you your basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain! And here we now begin our very epic quest. Spiral Mountain is probably one of my favorite all-time locations in a video game. Mmm, I'm sticky tasty honey energy! I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. I love how they give you all these uh, carrots to practice on and these onions and, and cauliflowers. It's very charming and they all have the googly eyes. Literally everything talks in this game. And of course, of Spiral Mountain, all you really do here is collect all six of the honeycombs. These are called ball. I think the onions are called balls. That just B A W L. Well, what if I want to learn my basic moves? You said you didn't need my help, so you're on your own until you get inside. Huh. <laughs> okay then. I have to tell you, every time I play this game, it's so, it's so hard for me not to say "guh" every time that he does say it. <laughs> so you might be hearing it a number of times through this play session. I like taking this little shortcut up here. So you're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, Bottle Boy. Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair! Look out for me inside! Good luck! Alright then, we are going to go ahead and cross this bridge and hear the spooky music! This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat hag! My brother will come and kick your butt! Rescue you, he will not dare! There's many dangers in my lair! Hurry, Klongo, push that switch! 
I'm tired of being an ugly witch! Yes, Mistress Grunty. Power is on. Soon be ready. Banjo! Help! <laughs> there he is! The fun begins! My tricks and traps will see who wins! <laughs> and here we have the wonderful transitioning music by Grant Kirkhope, though how each section has a different way. <laughs> to enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. We've got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy! Great! To fill in the missing spaces on a picture, press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, press B to leave. I don't think I want to leave. That's it! The picture's complete, and the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open! That was such an easy fit! The others may just test your wit! There are three new moves to learn in this world! Find my molehills, and I'll explain! Me Mumbo Stoken, used for Mumbo Magic. Yippee! You saved me! Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world. Free us all to get a Jiggy! I've always found, like, swimming in this game to be actually very, very well done. I'm a note, one of a hundred on each world. Collectors to open the note doors. The bull character up here is literally called Big Butt. Those people at Rare have quite a lot of fun with their characters. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Talon Trot up here, and then I'll go ahead and grab... One thing about this level, I kind of wish there was one easy straight path, but there really isn't. I mean, like, because each of the moves in this in this uh, world is needed in some other parts, so you just kind of have to all just pick, pick your route to get all three. The Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle sl steep slopes with ease! That sounds useful! How does she do it? Hold Z, then press the left C button. Continue to hold Z while moving Kazooie around with the control stick. Go practice! The Talon Trot has always felt so natural, although one thing about the Talon Trot, I've always felt very self-conscious when playing this game in front of others. You must search for 100 of us, uh, 10 of us in each world! We'll help you progress through the witch's lair! When you're ready to leave the world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad! Like I was saying there before, I, I always tend to feel self-conscious when using the Talon Trot, if only because it's kind of an annoying sound if you're just a bystander, or just someone in the room, and they just hear the honk honk. Where are the eggs? Because we can learn to use us as ammo. Yippee! You've collected enough notes to break the first note door! Spell! <laughs> I have to. Sometimes with these lines, like, they leave one line off at the end, and it kind of feels like, like certain translations of games. Grrrr! This conquers tree! Me hit bear with oranges! Don't touch Conker's blocks! Uh, 
Oh, I missed one. <laughs> Clever bear, find Goggles Gold. Uh -huh. Chippy hungry! What's orange now? Feed Chippy! Hey, that Congo's orange! Put it back! Wow, oranges are nice! Oh! Chippy like Congo's oranges! Chippy help that barren bird! Time for the buzzer to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold Z, then press the Z button to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press the bottom Z button instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. Sheesh! Sounds painful! I wish I'd never asked! Bird Brain can carry 100 eggs in her backpack! Oh! And you can use the control stick to aim while you are crouch crouching! Egg sighting, huh? Now that you've learned to use the eggs, here's 50 to practice with! Oh yeah, I need... I need to get the Beak Buster over by the totem pole before I can get that over there. Me safe here. Bear can't hit Conga. Yar! Egg hurt Conga! Egg! Bear beats Conga. Me give prize to Bear. Yeah, I'll have to come back here later when I get the Beak Buster. Alright, so I've seen some speedrunners on, on this game, and they can do insane things, and... I I don't have quite that kind of time to dedicate to uh, this this game as far as getting that perfect kind of speed, but... Um, I, I can't help but admire them for being able to do that. It's always been a really nice touch that there's a little... Um, Little hub two three four, um, that's uh, added just to this section, and I've always found it to be a nice, nice fun little touch. Hey, Yakwin! No bears allowed in Ticker's Tower. I'm going to get you. No, a matter of fact, I'm going to save you there, so you'll react to the termite when he gets in there. All right, let's go and learn the Beak Buster. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air, then press Z to send Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. Gulp! I don't like the sound of that, Banjo! Get used to it, Ness Girl! You'll be using it a lot! Whoa, Banjo! There's nothing more I can teach you on this world! There's only really one part of this game where I consistently die, and that's in Rusty Bucket Bay, which I think is can be said for most people who play this game. <laughs> Let's get just a few more houses here, and we'll have another Jiggy. You get Jiggy super duper fast in this level. Mama's dog and Paul feed us with nice new stones. Uh -huh. 
Alright, well, before I go see Mumbo, I'm going to need to go ahead and hit that switch over on the other side there. Try to make that quick. Oh yeah, and I need to go down this hill too. There's some notes and a jiggy down here. I never get tired of that dance. Ever. And I think honestly, even for being a being a game that's over 20 years old now, the graphics of this have held up incredibly well. Um, back in the, I mean, the, the kind that they did uh, advanced uh, animations, like cool texture work, and everything just seemed to work out very well in this game. Never like backtracking, but we'll get this soon enough. Go away! Leave my honeycombs alone! Alright, we're going to go ahead and uh, get back and uh, get our first transformation from Mumbo. Me Mumbo, best shaman in all game, can help Banjo and Filthy Feather one. Watch it, hot boy! Mumbo's magic tokens hid by witch. Find tokens and Mumbo help you. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on scroll and press B to see mighty Mumbo magic. Let's go grab these notes here first. Mumbo's magic, free to change back. You come back when ready. Turn my bite small, but not bad for first spell. Mumbo practice needed. Well, I'm glad that Mumbo doesn't charge you for transforming back. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd... Well, I guess uh, if I wanted to change back, all I'd have to do is wander outside the level. That's a way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you go inside the hut, he has to charge you. Hey! Where do you get those sorts? I want them! Give me that code backpack, or else! You found all 100 notes on this world! Well done! Here's the last Jiggy of the world. I'm just going to grab this honeycomb down here, and we are nearly done with this play session. Going to be probably be doing like a one level per play session here. Bronte's magic stops you taking the notes off the world, but the 100 you just collected counts as your best note score. Try to get 100 on each world as they're needed to open the note jars. I'm just double checking here, make sure I got that honeycomb, because a lot of times I forget that to get that honeycomb on top of the tonal ball, but it seems that I did remember. Mumbo magic get weak, animal turn back, or magic go. Magic all gone. Must go back to Baron Bird now. 
Alright then, that's going to be the end of this play session. I'm going to be saving the game, and for this first play session, I also will be uh, doing again the game over screen. Banjo's game ends in my tower! Turn it up! I need full power! Yes, your granted ship! Transformation! Soon complete! Help me, Banjo! I feel all funny! Baron Bird's finished! Grunty wins! Look at Grunty, she's a beauty. I'm much prettier than Tootie! Oh, you are mistressed! Grunty, nice! Come back to Marble Skull, yes? Banjo, your sister wants a word with you? Now? It's been a great play session, you guys. Uh, if you're new here, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and you'll have a good one. Bye.